Guys, we have quite an interesting video. Before we get into it though, we have question day coming in right here. What is your best pull from a set completion pack? So obviously if you go ahead and complete the set, Ultimate Legend packs as you see right here, or any kind of packs, you get a random pull. Motivated pack is a good example. Tell me down below what's the best pull you've gotten from one of those packs. Like goal for this video guys is 75 likes. Make sure the like button down below. We're gonna go ahead and help us smash that goal. And finally guys, we have comment today coming in right here from Spencer Pate, who said first. Make sure you comment down below if you want your chance to win comment of the day. So guys, we have, we're gonna actually gonna do a blank canvas here. I was kind of just doing like a random team just to see what I could build here, but on a blank canvas. Cause we have 13, count them, 13 ultimate legend upgrade rewards, which means we have 13, 93 plus overall players. Let's see what we can get out of this. Now this could have been the biggest mistake of my life. Or a really not a bad mistake. Now this was the 95 version. I'd be going nuts. This version doesn't go for that much. <laughs> the 95 goes for a lot guys. Let me tell you that right now. The 95. That might go for a tad bit. Okay so that's. The 95's is what we want to pull. Let me just tell you that guys. The 95's is the money. We got Derek Brooks, okay. So again, we're just trying to build a team here, guys. Okay, we got a right tackle, not bad. I wouldn't mind offensive lineman for that reason. And that one goes for a lot. Yeah, yeah, guys, that one, I think, unless he has come down in price, that one goes for a good amount of change. Um, He might have come down in price. 95 on a lot. Th okay, wait, wait, time out. Are these all, are these, are, that one goes for 320k. That's a good pull. <laughs> and, okay, Chad Johnson, not bad. Um, which isn't really that great, but you know. 94, okay, so we honestly, we got a 300k pull. I'm not sure what Lot's still going for. I know it's called goes for 60k. I'm not sure what Lot's going for. But I don't think he's too old of a legend, is he? I think he was last week's. So, or week before last. Yeah, he was. So, what's his 90... Let me see what his 95 is going for. His 95 is going for 300k. So, we actually got two cards that go for 300k. This set costs about 125,000 coins to do. And we got Marvin Harrison. Okay, so that's not actually too bad. So, going through real fast... What do we get? We got a right tackle. We got a left guard. So we'll see what team we could create with the players we did go ahead and pull. So I know we got a wide receiver. We got Marvin Harrison. Who else did we get? Let's see. Newest available. All right. So we got a couple wide receivers we could actually use. Uh, we got Marvin Harrison, who is actually a not bad card at all. Let's go ahead and go to newest. And we got a 93 overall. We got Terrell Davis at halfback. Um... Honestly, not the worst pack opening ever. I expected to get crapped on in this pack opening. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And the fact of the matter is, we actually came away with some decently okay pulls. We got both Larry Allen's, uh, but we can have... Oh, sorry, not Larry Allen. We got Larry Allen, we got Bruce Matthews. It was the same uh, position. Why well, it confused me, but we can actually put him at center. And looking at this, I mean, again, we could do some actual fire with this let's see so we got um let me go ahead okay so that's his strong safety version did we get a corner no this is his cornerback version so okay we got his cornerback version we might go ahead and just do one more what else did we get we got linebackers let me go ahead and go through and look at the players we got so i think again a lot of these players go for a good chunk of change so that's actually a really good we got oh yeah we got john abraham twice we got his 95 and his um, 96. So let's see. We got John Abraham. He goes for currently 375K. Not bad. We got um, any of the 95s always go for a lot, guys. Always go for a lot. 300K. Um, mainly because you can put a 96 is out of the best of the best pack. I know he's personally 60K. I sold him today, actually. He's about 80K. Okay, not bad. Um, now this set, obviously, I opened up 13. 
it's not worth it to do because these 93s go for 25,000 coins. And the fact of the matter is, you pay 125,000 coins for this and you get like, you know, 93, it's just completely freaking awful. So I think I have a couple left. So how many do I have left? Do I have enough to do one more? I might have enough to do one more. I actually did not do the voting thing for the uh, Blockbuster promo, which, eh, it's, you know, it's whatever. Um, actually, wait, I'm going to have enough because I'm going to have like 20 of them. Let me see if I have enough to do one more. And we're actually going to do one more of these sets for this video, guys. So let's see. So where am I starting off? So we have Ken Houston. Um, okay. Actually, we, we might have enough to do a couple more. So let's go ahead and put this in. Uh... Actually, wait, what am I doing? Can I not do the set? Ultimate Legend, Elite Token. Hmm. What am I missing here? Upgrade set. Upgrade. Upgrade Ultimate. Oh, oh, my bad. Because he's a 93. So I can't do the 93s. Crap. So I can only do uh, five of them. Or oh, I need three more. Let's go ahead and buy these last three and just complete this set and finish this off. So we have 23K. I mean, again, not too crazy of a set when it comes to price wise, but it's definitely, it's still interesting to see what you pull. When you pull the 300K cards, it's like, yeah, I pulled a 300K card. And then you realize that you just spent 125,000 coins and you'll lose some on the other end. So let's go ahead and finish this off. And bam, we're going to go ahead and complete this set. Let's see who we can pull. Can we pull something fire? Jerry Rice, 95 overall, actually still goes for like 400,000 coins. So I would not mind pulling Jerry Rice, 95 overall. We got John Abraham. Can we get the other Ultimate Legend from the weekend? And we get a really bad pull in Ken Houston. So overall-wise, I think this whole entire video-wise costs like about, I want to say 1.7 million total. And I probably made back, I would say around one point. 1 million maybe probably way less than that probably like around 800,000 uh so not the best when it came to packs but again guys i love to put this content to you i know you guys do enjoy pack opening enjoy me going crazy in this game when it comes to pack opening so we're, we're winding down with the end of mutt mutt is kind of dying off so let's go ahead and see what team we could have created so we have jason taylor which is good because we can actually go ahead and put john abraham at actually let's go ahead and put jason taylor at left end and we can put John Abraham at right end. Now, we put him twice, which does suck because we can't use him twice. We can only use one of his cards. Uh, let's go ahead and let's put the best version, even though 95 is technically the best. But let's go ahead and put the 90, uh, that version over there. Uh, we got D-Tackle. And, of course, we got... Did we get Ronnie Lott twice? Newest. No, we did Oh, no, we got Ken Houston. That's it. All right. So, then we got Derek Brooks at left outside linebacker. Go ahead and go to left. Oh, no, he's actually well as a linebacker. Okay, um, I'm trying to see if we can do anything here. Can we can we finesse the system in any kind of way? Okay, I know we can't. You can't use multiple players. Even if they're different teams, different cards, you can't use multiple players. So, let's see. We got well as a linebacker there. Uh, did we get any free safety of any kind? Can't you Ken Houston twice? So I think that's the best team we can create, guys. So what is this? What? We have four, uh, four or five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then of course we pulled John Abraham twice. So that would be the best team just of Ultimate Legends we could pull. Um, with that in mind, definitely not the worst team. Uh, no, not obviously not 94 overall. But if we put some other pieces in here, we could actually make a pretty good team just based on these set completion players. In all honesty, these set completion players are sometimes the best players because of the fact that they always have these juice stats. Like this card right here, obviously this card goes for, I think this card goes for like 100,000 coins. But they always have juice stats like this. So very nice. Even though if you can't afford to get the 99 overall version, usually the 96s because they're cheap, get the best of best pack always will do the job for a lot cheaper so 88 speed 95 block shed 97 power move you get him maxed out with finesse move you're gonna get up to 94 finesse move so again not the real deal not the man in charge but definitely so nice let me go ahead and see what jerry rice is going for his 95 because i know his 95 actually was crazy up there in value when it came to um uh what's it called when it came to last weekend 
obviously as it should be. Um, let's go ahead and go to 49ers and let's see what his price is actually going for. Let's go to wide receiver and we are looking at 499,000. So again, 400,000 coins for Jerry Rice if you do get this version. And again, this version is a actually not the best for the price, not the best, but definitely still a nice card. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next one. Peace out.